The other thing that you have to learn is when you hold on to your history, you do it at the expense of your destiny. So if, if people can understand that as long as they don't forgive, they're poisoning themselves. It's like hating somebody who's hurt you is like taking poison hoping they'll die. It's like me being mad at somebody who hurt me that's out having a good time and don't even care that I'm mad. That doesn't hurt them. Any of you, you think forgiving means accepting what has happened to you. Well, it is accepting that it has happened to you. Not accepting that it was okay for it to happen. It is accepting that it has happened, and now what do I do about it? Forgiving is giving up the hope, not holding on, hoping, wishing, other way than it actually was, giving up the hope that the past would be really different. And when I got that, I think it took me to the next level of being a better person because I don't hold grudges for anything or any situation, and neither should you. It's letting go so that the past does not hold you prisoner does not hold you hostage. When, when you consider you, you cannot give energy, wow. but in so many directions, that you are a limited resource. And if you're going to spend all that energy energizing where you've been, wow. then you're not going to have the fuel and the fire and the tenacity and the aggressiveness that you need to energize where you're going. So tell somebody, say, let it go. Letting go of the past it really means letting go of our perception that we need to hold the grievance the rest of our lives. That, that if we really want to hold on to grievances, we'll never really be happy. It's really a willingness to, to see the person in the light of love rather than in the action that happened. So it's really changing the perception, and it really means letting go of the past that we thought we wanted. You know, we can't really change that past, so it means really releasing the negative perception of it and coming back to the present. And are taught to think that it is powerful to hold people hostage with what they did wrong. That that's your power. That's how you get back. No, I didn't forget it. And I'm strong wow, and I'm good. tough. But, but it takes more strength to forgive than it does to be vengeful and angry. And the worst part about it is I really, 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 really believe that forgiveness does not exonerate the perpetrator. It does not justify their behavior. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. Because you let it go. Because you let it go so that you are available to be your highest and best self. And because you are saying that I, it is not stronger than me. It is not stronger than me. I, I disconnect from it and find that I am in control of it. And it is not in control of me. One of the Greek words for forgiveness is similar to the word exhale. It means to get it out of you. When I forgive you, it don't matter whether you stay mad or not. It doesn't matter whether you deserve it or not. This is not about you. When, when I forgive you, that means ah, I got it out of me. Ah, yeah. I got it out of me. <clears throat> Whatever was choking my flow and stopping my blessing and breaking up my peace and keeping me up at night and changing my personality, <clears throat> I got it out of me. You can stay angry all you want to, but as for me and my house, I got it out of me. Slap somebody and say, let it go. Anger, hostility, frustration, bitterness, depression, low self-esteem, whatever's got you choked up, let it go.